Welcome to Electro Online. Now when we look at the next example, notice that both denominators will need to be factored first. So again, let's factor whatever we can. And this then becomes 4 divided by, when we factor this denominator, we get two binomials, we get an x and an x. Everything is positive. The product is 6, the sum is 5, so the numbers 2 and 3 will work. Same with the second fraction. Here we have again two binomials, we need an x and an x. Notice that one number must be negative, the other must be positive. How about plus 3 minus 1, because when we add them we get plus 2, when we multiply we get minus 3, so that seems to work. Now notice on the left side and on the right side that the binomial x plus 3 is common, but the other two are not common, which means that this one is missing the x minus 3, I mean, uh, this one is missing the x minus 1, and this one is missing the x plus 2. So what I probably should have done is left myself a little bit more room. So again, this is not a bad idea to think ahead a little bit, realizing that we're going to have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by another term or by another binomial. So notice that over here, what we're missing is we're missing the x minus 1. So we're going to multiply the denominator and the numerator by x minus 1. And this pen seems to be dying on me. So let's see what else I have here. That's red, okay. And over here, notice we're missing the term x plus 2, so we're going to multiply this by x plus 2 and multiply this by x plus 2 as well. Now notice the two denominators look exactly the same. They're common. We can now write the numerators over the same common denominator. So this is equal to 4 times x minus 1 plus 1 times x plus 2, all written over the same common denominator, x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 1. Now again, what we have to do is multiply everything in the numerator and collect common terms. So this is equal to 4x minus 4 plus x plus 2, all divided by the same common denominator, And finally, when we collect common terms, 4x plus x, which is 5x, minus 4 plus 2, which is minus 2, all divided by x plus 2, x plus 3, and times x minus 1. And that's how you add, in this case, these two fractions, the two rational expressions, and you bring it to its simplest form. And that's how it's done.